This is Primostan, and you can see the Adriatic Sea right down there. Just a 30-second uh, walk away there, but I'm going to do something a little bit different and wander through the back streets here of Primostan on my way to the historical district, which is a point. Actually, I think that it is an island, technically, that sticks out, and that is where the old town is. The name Primishton, as I understand it, is derived from the word bridge, referring to the bridge connecting the mainland to that island. So, let's go take a look. I just arrived a couple of hours ago, coming from Makarska, and I'm only staying one night and then going to Šibenik, north of here. So I'm basically making my way north up the uh, coast of Croatia here and making stops along the way based on recommendations that people have given. There are so many different places to see that uh, I'm just making these uh, short stops for now and... Uh... So there is the historical old city right there. And that should be just up ahead. And the sea is over there, and there's the sea right there. So this is the point sticking out that way. You can see it's a hill up there. Lots of very fresh looking fruits. Look at those watermelons, man, that is so, so red. Lots of bees, though. Hello. There's plastic on them, though. Protect him. Hello. And so a nice uh, beach here going along this bay. But I guess the nicer beach, the main beach, is on the other side. And so I'm guessing that this statue refers to a donkey race that happens here every year. Sometime in the summer. That would be a cool cultural event to witness. And so I guess there's actually no bridge. I assume that this is where the bridge would have been and just been filled in, connecting the uh, point here to the mainland. So which way to go? Left, right, or center. Let's walk around the edge and then come back through. And let's head into the center of things here. Wow, so cool. It really cools down here too.
So this is the main beach, Raducha Mala. Man oh man. Another busy spot. Croatia is happening. I am ready to get wet, so going to find a spot to jump in that water and then go check out another beach called Radokovela, which is over there. And I guess it's a little bit smaller and maybe less crowded. One can hope. But you definitely can't blame people for coming here. And so this beach wraps around this other point that sticks out over here. So there's the old town and then this other like paisley looking thing that uh, comes out and wraps around. So we're going to walk around this way and then get back to the center of things and go find a restaurant. And it looks like we've got another abandoned hotel project. So when I was on the island of Bratch in Bol, then I came across this abandoned hotel that was all covered in incredible graffiti and street art, murals and stuff. This one, not so colorful. And so someone had explained that the reason for these abandoned hotels is that during, I guess, the Yugoslavia era or maybe in the uh, 1990s, then people had started these hotels and then because of the war, I guess, then they were abandoned. And then rather than trying to track down the owners of the hotels who might have fled or, you know, who knows what, then they were just abandoned and let rot and they started, you know, just building hotels in other places. So. It looks like that is the case with this as well, because you can see here would have been, you know, these nice rooms with balconies looking out at the sea, you know, 30 seconds from the beach. And here's the structure, all very sturdy looking, but uh, just totally neglected. What a waste. And so if you want a less crowded beach, then this is the place to come, is just walk around, continue along that crowded part there, and then it wraps around and gets more uh, peaceful here. I mean, relatively at least, it's still busy, but uh, a little less crazy. And so there's the old town there on that point, and then 
the main beach, Raducha Mala, I guess it's called. Raduka, Raducha. And then the other point here, and I've wrapped all the way around it like this, and I'm now at Raducha Vela, right here. Still plenty busy. Hello. Hello. Channel. Hello. Just looking. Okay. And so I'm back at the main beach there. Going to look for a restaurant along there maybe. And so I realized that today is August 8th, which makes exactly one month since I arrived in Croatia. I flew in on July 8th. So I thought that I would recap my uh, trip. I flew into Split. July 8th and spent just one night there because I'd been there before on a previous trip three years ago and then I took the boat the next day out to Havar Island and spent 10 days on Havar then took a boat to Korchula Island spent another I think 10 or 11 or so days on Korchula Island and then took a boat to Bratch Island was there about uh, five days and then took the boat to Makarska and was there for six days. And then just today I took the bus up from Makarska to... Where am I? I forgot. Wherever I am, you lose track sometimes. Primostan, there we go. And I decided to head down to this other restaurant a little ways away from all the uh, noise and busyness there. Looks like a great spot here. Just listen to the lapping of the waves and have a cold beverage. Octopus, hamburger, patty, chevapchichi, Bosnian pot, lamb beef veal mixed vegetables. Okay, haven't seen that one before. Salo mio relleno. All right, some good-looking choices. Hello. Ciao. Uh, kitchen is open? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. 